Am I the asshole for kicking my mother out because she kept getting irritated with my job? I'm a nanny, but the parents bring the kids to my house because they work from home and can't tend to the kids and work. The kids are two, three and six. The six-year-old has been doing virtual learning since March. The kids are typically with me from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. This summer, my mother in for the indefinite future for various reasons. And this was kind of always the plan as she got older. The only issue is, our guest room is on the first floor, right near our kitchen and living room, which doubles as a playroom. My husband's office is also on this floor, which is where the six-year-old does her classwork. I told my mom this and she claimed it'd be fine. Well, it's been a month and a half since she moved in and things haven't gone well. The kids come in, they play and my mom is typically up by then. But she hates lots of noise. The kids aren't being wild, just kids. Especially since the younger two are toddlers. I gave the older one headphones for her Zoom classroom but she still talks pretty animatedly from her office. My mother is always complaining how loud she or the boys are. I take them outside for some of the day, but it's not possible to be out there. The parents also want minimal screen time, so I can't just stick them around the TV. Plus, the toddlers wouldn't last long anyway and the six-year-old needs to be focused on school. I tried to tell my mom all of this, but she seems to forget what it's like to have young kids. Things came to a head on Friday, six-year-old had a half day so she was done by 12. All three kids were playing in the den and the weather wasn't the best so we were stuck inside. They were all playing with some dinosaurs and roaring. My mom came out and told me, can you get them to shut up? I said, they're just being kids, but I did try to tell them to turn the volume down. Then 15 minutes later, my mom comes storming out of her room, face red, saying they needed to go home. I said that this was my job and I warned her about this. She told me that she didn't need this so late in life. I called my sister and got her to take my mom out for the day, because I was getting frustrated with her. This weekend, I talked to said sister and said that she needed to take our mom. My sister works from home as well, but her job is quiet and my mom can have the peace she needs. My sister agreed. When we told my mom, she was mad because my sister lives about 30 minutes away and she doesn't want to live there. Since she can't live on her own medical reasons, I gave her three choices. She stays with me but loses the attitude, she moves in with my sister or we use her social security to put her in a retirement home. She got even more pissed and finally agreed to move in with my sister. I've gotten nothing but guilt from my mother, my brother, who lives too far to take care of her, and other family members. I feel like I made the right choice, but everyone says I should just get a new job and just take care of my mom, because family comes first. Am I being an asshole? Not the asshole. She knew the deal going in. You can't be expected to completely change your job, especially during a pandemic. To suit her demands, the people offering their opinions can keep it to themselves unless they are directly involved in some way. As in your mom is living with them. Not the asshole. You've given very reasonable options. And hey, you tried. If you're enjoying the job and it suits you, It's not really reasonable for others to expect you to give it up when there is a perfectly good suitable arrangement already made. Not the asshole. I think you made the right choice. You didn't kick her out on the streets, and she can't really be choosy about it. She's your mom and you need to take care of her, but that doesn't mean she can't be flexible either. Honestly, if it wasn't this she probably would have found something else to get mad about. I would imagine it's hard to accept that you can't take care of yourself and have to rely on your kid to take care of you. She's probably looking for a little control. Once she gets settled at your sister's, you may want to just keep up with her and touch base to see how she's doing. But everyone says I should just get a new job and just take care of my mom. Because, family comes first, get in the habit of immediately putting them on the spot, and forcefully asking why they won't do so themselves. You're not the R. The options given respectfully so were fair. 1. It's your house. Your rules. Your job. She knew what to expect before moving in. 2. It's your job. Unless she's going to pay you for taking care of her and your bills, or if your brother and family members are gonna help you, then okay, quit your job. Until then, M, they need to stay out of it. 3. If your mom had better planned for her future and to not be an inconvenience to her kids, not saying she's a bad mom but she's acting like a child, then she could be living her life with the attention she needs. But too bad. That didn't happen. She's got two daughters willing to assist her. 
She just needs to cut THR attitude. Not the asshole you're expected to quite your job so she can have a more peaceful stay at your house free of charge. Ask the family if they're willing to do that. They're being unfair to you. Not the asshole that's literally how you pay for the place she is living. If she has that big of an issue with it, and she doesn't need this so late in life, then moving in with your sister sounds like the best solution. Not the asshole. You handled this situation perfectly. You made an agreement with her in advance. You gave her chances to honor her agreement but she failed. Then you presented her with three options, and reacted like a child. The only option that would make her happy would be for you to get rid of the kids or shut them up. It's not her house and she is jeopardizing your job, which she is indifferent to. She is acting like a child. If your only option was the street that would be a different matter. But you offered her three options. All very reasonable options. Not the asshole. I can't believe anyone would expect you to change your job, that's ridiculous. You did everything right here. Not the asshole I can't believe they said to just get a new job, given how hard it can be to find one now and how much that family needs you. Keep the job. Let your sister deal with mommy dearest. Not the asshole. How about mom and siblings guarantee to pay what you earn now every month until mom is no longer living with you, because, family. I would guess that would be a no. You were working and had told your mum what the situation was prior to her moving in, so not like you sprung it on her. Not the asshole and your brother living far away is no excuse. What if he was an only child, would he just dump his mother on the street? You did the right thing and tell them that if they continue to try and lay guilt on you, you will cease speaking to them. Not the asshole. If those kids tell their parents they heard your mom ask you to, shut them up there's a real chance you could lose your job. Not the asshole. Tell this to anyone who tries to guilt you. Mother was endangering my livelihood. I'm considering any attempt to make me feel bad about that as an offer to take her in. When do you want me to have mother and her stuff arrive at your home? Not the asshole. You did her a favor to let her live with you. She was living in your home where you were trying to do your job. And she told you to send the kids away, essentially telling you to not do your job. The think that is helping to pay for the roof over her head. She needed to realize that she is living in your house, therefore she lives by your rules. You were completely within your rights to give her your ultimatum. Not the asshole. You let her live with you. She should lose the attitude and appreciate that a bit more. Not the asshole. This is your job. Your career. If she can't stand being around kids, then she shouldn't be around kids. Brother is talking out of his ass. Why doesn't he take care of mom? Your mom is going to your sisters. They're using you because they don't have to deal and rather pawn mom off to you. Hypocrite. Not the asshole. Your mom was very disrespectful you need your job and if your sister is fine with it then your mom living with her is a good idea. Not the asshole. The whole family comes first is the most toxic form of gaslighting there is. Since she actually has the option to be in a retirement home I say put her ass there. We had to deal with a toxic parent for a while and fuck that. It's not worth it in the long run to feel like you have to walk on eggshells around someone interrupting your lifestyle as an adult. She basically wants you to quit your job so she can have quiet days. Not the asshole. She can live with your sister woman shrugging. NTA your mother knew your job and still chose to stay with you knowing she couldn't handle the noise. Adding to that this is your job and she is putting it at risk by speaking and reacting in that way in front of children that are not her own nor under her care. I'm sorry your relatives can't seem to understand that. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. If family comes first, why doesn't that apply to her getting along with you in your home? Not the asshole. You gave your mother fair warning about your work situation before she moved in and she agreed to accept the living arrangements. It's not your fault your job requires in-home care. You have to make a living and she should be grateful your sister was able to let her move in with her instead of placing her in a home. You have nothing to feel bad about. She'll get over it. Not the asshole. Can I just say you are lucky to have your sister who could provide such an easy solution for you. My mom comes storming out of her room, face red, saying they needed to go home. She literally just told you that you have to stop working. I would love to stop working but I'm allergic to not eating at least every day. When we told my mom, she was mad because my sister lives about 30 minutes away and she doesn't want to live there. 
Well she doesn't want to live with you either, it's too noisy. She moves in with my sister or we use her social security to put her in a retirement home. She got even more pissed and finally agreed to move in with my sister. You mom sounds very manipulative and controlling. The only reason I'm not 100% sure is you have a backbone. Not the asshole. My grandma was like this and she ended up in a nursing home. She wanted everyone to cater to her needs but would not make concessions to the people accommodating her. Sometimes Tara's no perfect solution and she has to deal. You listed her options. If she doesn't like it, tough poop. That's reality and she has to adjust. Nearly every single time I have heard, family comes first, it has been used to condone, justify, or explain exploitative or abusive behavior. Live your life. She can choose to live somewhere she might be happier, but she can suck an egg if she wants to dictate your career. Not the asshole and the people telling you to put family first should eat their words and take mom in, or pay for you to nanny her instead. I honestly do not think you could have handled this any better than you did. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. First in life, you are your parents' children. Then, your children's parents. Then, your parents' parents. Finally, you are your children's children. It is the cycle of life. It can be hard to accept these transitions, but you are now at the your parents' parent stage of life, but you made a reasonable and balanced decision in my humble opinion. Not the asshole. It's not reasonable for your mother to expect you to change your career to suit her preferences. She knew what she was getting into. If she can't respect your home and your work, it's right she go live elsewhere. Not the asshole. This is a pandemic, getting a new job isn't that easy. And even if it was, the only reason to switch would be if you didn't like your job anymore. Your mom not liking your job, when she was fully aware of what it entails is not a good reason. Not the asshole. How would you take care of your mother if you lose your source of income? Ah yes, the old, family comes first, excuse. Screw financial security, you need to quit that their job and take care of your mother. What's that? There's a pandemic going on and other jobs are hard to find? Too bad. Family comes first. Lol, but seriously, not the asshole op. Your mom knew the deal when she moved in and accepted it. It's not your fault that she now has a problem with it. As for the other family members, I'd tell them that unless they want to drop everything and move to your area to take care of her, remember, family comes first, they need to stay out of it. Because that argument they're throwing at you can be thrown right back. Op I'm so sorry you're dealing with this something really similar happened to my mom. My grandma was throwing fits like her mom, about my mom's job. She didn't want my mom to leave the house for work. She wanted her to be home to take care of her. And all my mom's brother's Abed sisters, she had eight, gave her so much shit. Till one day Mount Grandma just took her stuff and left and moved into my aunt's house, basically forced it on that aunt too. She had to make all sorts of arrangements last minute. My mom had tried so hard to get her other siblings to help and they all refused, not like her sister. And my grandma unhappily moved into this other house with my aunt and basically it's been since 2007 and we don't talk anymore LMAO. Not the asshole. Ugh. Family does not come first when they're being assholes. Not the asshole. In my experience, people who say, family comes first, don't actually abide by it and just like to say it as a way to try to get their way. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. And the brother and family who aren't involved in caring for her can step off. Unless they want to volunteer their homes, time, effort, or money, stfu. Your mom agreed without realizing what it meant. You found a perfectly acceptable solution after she had, sorry, a toddler meltdown. You did good. Okay. You're not the asshole at all. Everyone says I should just get a new job and just take care of my mom. Do they understand we're still in the pandemic? Jobs aren't exactly a dime a dozen. Especially childcare jobs. One of the hardest hit industries. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Huge not the asshole. Would these people being saying the same thing if you were a Psalm and these children were your own? If family comes first, why is your family treating you like that? Aren't you family? It's easy for them to pontificate when someone isn't telling them to drop their job. And why can't she live with your brother no matter where he lives? If his values are so superior, why doesn't he take her to his house? It sounds like, everyone, 
finds it easy to tell you what to do because they want you to do it instead of doing it themselves. Simply tell them that it is impossible for you to have her living in your workplace and that you are glad that they feel close enough to her that they want to see her taken care of. They are great to invite her into their home. Not the asshole. You gave your mother plenty of warning on what life in your home would look and sound like. It didn't work out. She's going elsewhere with another family member. Nobody is putting her on the streets. I think you did the best you could here. NTA. Not the asshole. You gave her choices. She picked one. You have nothing to feel guilty about. Think of others complaining about as white noise and continue living your life and do as good of a job as you can. Hey everyone, including my dad, left me alone to manage a bipolar narcissist mom and the family bankruptcy she caused. She hated me and was verbally abusive when no one else was there. I got all kinds of lectures on, being patient, you have to understand, you need to heal your relationship, until my sister got divorced and moved in with mom. Hey, sister went from the favorite to an angry, bully ragged mess in one year. Me, I moved to NYC and occasionally took sis calls to hear her complain about the very same shit mom pulled with me, only sis accused me of lying about it. Mom died three years ago. No one who lived with her misses her. Not the asshole. Funny how family members who are not directly affected nor the ones volunteering to help are the most opinionated. Not the asshole. You told her your life situation before she moved in with you and she said she was okay with it. Then after living there for a while she gets annoyed at three children, age six and below for make noise. Not the asshole. You losing your job because the parents find out someone is acting like this around the kids would still leave mom either living with sister or a retirement home. This just prevents you from suffering financially because she wants to be a spoiled brat. Not the asshole. I think you handled it great. She knew the deal going in, but couldn't handle it, so you came up with alternatives. Bro only gets to talk if he takes a turn with her. Until that happens, he is just making white noise.